to the first video in a series of four videos for Vegan Mofo. I'm Tara and I'm going to be your host. This first video we're going to talk about quinoa and how to cook it. First of all, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. I, my husband and I have been vegetarian for over 17 years. We have three boys, 12, 10 and 8, and they've been raised on a vegetarian diet. Well, this year we made the transition to becoming vegan. So although that transition was pretty simple for us, there were still major changes we had to make in our diet. We had to find some new recipes, we had to find new ways to cook certain things and learn to do without others. So um, we, I understand the challenge that, that can be, especially when you have a really busy active family, to find healthy, delicious food that your kids are going to eat and above all and probably most importantly is nutritious too. So we've had a bit of success in that area and we want to share some of our ideas with you and hopefully it'll help you on your vegan journey wherever you are with that. So today we're going to talk about cooking quinoa and I guess kind of begs the question when I first heard of quinoa, what is quinoa? Well, quinoa looks like this. It is referred to as an ancient grain, um, but it's actually a seed. So, but you'll often hear to it, like I said, referred to as a grain. It comes in a variety of colors, from white, um, gold, red, black. When I first purchased quinoa, I was told that um, the darker it is, the nuttier the taste is. Well, because it, it does have a slightly uh, nutty taste, quinoa. I haven't found there to be a lot of difference between the different, like taste difference between the colors, but try it out for yourself, see what you think. I really like mixing them together, I think it just looks beautiful, but try it out yourself. So quinoa is really easy to cook, but before you cook it, and this is really important, you want to rinse it, and rinse it really well. And the reason for that is quinoa has a uh, natural insecticide on it called saponin, and it, it's great in the, when it's being grown because it prevents um, birds and bugs from eating it, it's a very bitter taste. And when you buy it in the store, most often it's been rinsed, but there is also um, often residue on it. So you want to rinse it really well, get off all that bitter taste, and uh, if there's a bit of, uh, it looks like a soapy residue, keep rinsing it until that's off, and then you're not going to have that bitter taste. Okay, so you've rinsed your quinoa. Now it's really simple to cook. Literally, it's two parts water to one part quinoa. So if you're using a cup of quinoa, you want two cups of water, um, put it on the stove, bring it to a boil, then turn it down to simmer and let it sit for 15 minutes. Super simple. So with your quinoa that you've just cooked, that might just look like this, this is red quinoa that I've cooked, um, you, I'm going to show you how to make a, a really easy recipe with it that's absolutely delicious. It's just a, a basic quinoa salad. So for this recipe, and you can find this on the website, um, if you want it, if you like to see things written down. But for this recipe, you are going to need two tomatoes. You're going to need one or two avocado, depending on your taste. I've used two because I love avocado. You're going to need a cup of quinoa, and you can use any color, white, red, gold, black, whatever you prefer. You are going to need a teaspoon of salt, uh, two tablespoons of lemon, you're going to need one tablespoon of olive oil, a handful of spinach, um, a cup or a handful, I like to just take a big handful of it, and you're going to need to chop that spinach up, and you're going to need three green onions chopped. So here we go. I've already chopped some uh, tomatoes and I've chopped some avocado just to make this a simpler process, but we still need to chop up the green onions. So here we go. Now, as I'm doing this, I want to tell you, because I think it's just that so interesting, a little bit about the history of quinoa. It originated in South America, and the Incas grew it on the, in the Andes Mountains, and quinoa was really sacred to their culture. Um, it, not only did it grow in these really harsh conditions, which of course is very important, but it, um, it, quinoa is, has superior nutritional qualities. And the um, Incas realized this. They actually used to send their Incan armies um, on war when they went to war on their marches for, and this could be days on end or often weeks on end. And what they would send them with was what, something called war balls. And it was quinoa mixed with that, and this would sustain them for weeks. So um, it was very sacred food to them. 
and uh, in, they, it was used in many of their religious ceremonies and um, the Incan emperor would plant the first seed um, every year and he'd use a golden shovel to do so, so it's very important to them. We'll just mix this up in here. Actually, I think what we'll do is put our quinoa into this bowl right here. Make sure after you've cooked your quinoa that it has cooled down. Give it some time to cool down before you use it for this recipe. Otherwise, all your veggies are going to wilt when you add them. So there we go. We'll add in our green onions that we just chopped up. And we're also going to add in our tomatoes that I've pre-diced. And then, uh, let's see here, we'll chop up our spinach. And I can continue telling you this really cool story about the history of quinoa. So anyway, so this was very, very valuable to them. And what they what happened in the 1600s when the Spanish came and conquered the Incas, they realized how important this was to their culture and their spiritual beliefs and to their strength. So they um, they destroyed all the quinoa fields and they banned them from growing it. So this is the part out like they grew it in secret, and um, the Inca people grew the quinoa in secret, and it remained fairly unknown until um, the 1900s when it was rediscovered and, um, and introduced to North America. And quinoa is becoming more and more commonplace now. You'll find it in the grocery store, um, sometimes in boxes, sometimes in the bulk food section. You'll find it in whole food stores. You can even order it online. So, you know, it's becoming more and more commonplace. Quinoa has been touted as one of the healthiest foods in the world. And the reason for this is it is actually a complete protein, which is phenomenal. You're getting complete protein, you're not getting the saturated fat, and you're not getting the cholesterol that you would if you were getting this protein from meat. So this is a fabulous, awesome, definitely superior source of protein. Um, it also is really high in iron. It's really high in calcium. It's um, got all these vitamins and minerals. Okay, don't take my word for it. This is something I found out which is really interesting too. NASA is actually, they're putting together their list of um, foods that the um, astronauts will take on their, their mission to Mars and they're planning all this out. And quinoa is on their list of things that they're considering sending with them because of its nutritional superior or superior nutritional qualities. So check it out online. That's what I had to do to believe it, but it's true. Okay, so we're going to add this here, and then we're just going to make up a quick little dressing with our olive oil, and our lemon, and our salt. So we're going to ever so quickly mix these together, and then we'll add them to our Up. Add them to this salad and oops, toss that up a bit. And it like it's already looking delicious. I love the red in this recipe, um, just because I think it looks nice. But like I said, feel free to use any color you want. Feel free to mix them up, um, and you'll see once. I don't know if you can see this, but once the quinoa is cooked, there's a little white ring that um, comes, that you'll see around the quinoa, and that is normal. That's how you know that the quinoa has been cooked. So you just mix that all up. Then we're going to add in our avocado. I do that last just because the avocado is soft and you don't want to squish it. And then just lightly toss it, and then you can put it in the fridge. Now. Um, don't think that this is the only thing you can do with quinoa. This is the beauty of quinoa. You can make breakfasts with it. You can make salads. You can make lunches. You can make soups. You can make dinners. There are so many great recipes that you can use quinoa for. Whether you're a vegan or not, you know, this is something that you should have in your diet. So check it out online. Do a little bit of research. 
take advantage of, you know, a superfood. Anyway, hope you really enjoy.